When I was a kid growing up in Atlanta, I guess it would have been considered the suburbs once upon a time. Not really sure what they'd call it now, but any event, there was always a couple of characters around town uh, that were had some uh, recognition and reputation uh, as very popular uh, and well received and seen very very often times um, a couple of characters that um, I'd like to tell you about and the first is a guy um, who was known as the Birdman of Buckhead and this gentleman and I use the term gentleman because I was probably six or seven years old the first time I saw him and I was struck, even though he was in white gym shorts and a white T-shirt, and always was every time I saw him, um, he he had the air of a gentleman. I don't know what I, I don't know what to attribute that to at, at my age, but he rode around the streets of Buckhead on a vintage 1950s model Schwinn cruiser. Um, and oftentimes flapped his arms in the wind like a bird would while riding his bike up and down the street to Buckhead. He had such a presence and such a prominence in, in that community that um, there was a full page write up about him uh, when he passed away. And um, people, I mean, he was legendary, people knew him everywhere. Uh, and but nobody really knew this story, um, so that's that's the story of the uh, the Birdman of Buckhead, the flying uh, Birdman on his 1950s vintage Schwinn cruiser in the streets of Buckhead in Atlanta, Georgia, during the 60s, 70s, um, and probably even the 80s. I don't know. But uh, I definitely saw him in the 70s and uh, throughout all my formative years. And he was a really, really cool guy. And a very, um, I always smiled when I got to see him on the streets. Fun memory with my family and my mom.